Hey guys, Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's quick video, I'm going to take you in the shower with me and show you my brand new, most current curly hair routine. Yeah. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I style my hair. Um, this is the routine that I use most often and the products that I have been using for the last few months. I do use some other products sometimes, so I do like to switch up my products and I do use different types of products to refresh my hair on different days, but this is like my 2020 most current curly hair routine and products that I'm using on the most regular basis. The first thing I do is give my hair a look and a feel and decide whether I'm going to sulfate free shampoo my hair or co-wash my hair. Then I just wet my hair under warm water. So not hot, not cold, just warm and I do this whether I'm going to use conditioner or shampoo. This is the shampoo I've been using a lot lately, this Low Lather Cleanser by Zotos Professionals. Um, I just use a very small amount, dilute it with water and I scrub that into my scalp and all throughout my roots and I do let it run through my hair but again I'm not using that much so it doesn't dry my hair out. Now I'm just rinsing that out very thoroughly with very warm water. Next is the conditioning step. I'm using this Trays of May silicone free conditioner. I'll leave all the information in the description box. Um, this is my longest step and I know I use less but I still use a lot. So here I am just wetting my hair and then I'm gonna turn the tap off because this step takes me a really long time and I waste a ton of water if I leave the water running while I'm applying my conditioner because I'm going to apply it and then I'm also going to finger detangle and then scrunch it into my hair. There's a few steps here and I really don't wanna leave the water running. After I'm done detangling, I part my hair in the center and this is part of my routine actually. It's gonna help with the rinsing process. So I part my hair and then I scrunch the conditioner into my hair a little bit. Um, I'm mixing the conditioner and the water together and just giving it a good squeeze. I leave it on there for a minute and now I'm gonna rinse it out. Now the rinsing is important to me. So I tilt my head forward, my hair is parted in the center and I let the water run over my hair and use my fingertips to help form these clumps. The clumps are detrimental to my hair routine. I find that my hair looks the best when I let it separate on its own like this. And then you're gonna see in a minute how I apply my leave-in conditioner with my hair um, in this formation. So this is what it looks like after it is rinsed. It's still dripping wet. I'm gonna use this Jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner. I love this one and I highly recommend that you try it. I use quite a bit, a lot less than I did in the past, um, but I very gently run it over each clump and then I spread some on the back of my hair and the top of my head. And then I'm going to use a scrunching motion to mix the leave-in conditioner and the water together. And I'm actually gonna scrunch some of it up towards my root area. So it's indirectly being applied to my roots as well. Now I'm going to apply my favorite product, my gel. This is my BioTerra gel. I'm gonna leave all the information in the description box below. You can probably tell that I really like it. Anyway, I use roughly this amount, which is a lot less than I used to use, but my hair is not dripping wet at this point. I already squeezed out a lot of the water. Um, I'm just using the praying hands technique here to smooth the gel over my hair without really breaking up the clumps. I'm gonna do this on either side, and then I am going to scrunch my hair again and I'm gonna scrunch it up towards uh, the root area. And this is the last part of my product application process. In total, this shower routine only takes five minutes. It took me a while to get it down, but now that I know it, uh, it seems like it's very complicated, but again, it really doesn't take very long at all. Still scrunching, still scrunching. Now I'm going to take my favorite microfiber towel and squeeze the excess water out of my hair. I used to use a t-shirt, and you can still use a t-shirt, but I just love this towel. And I'm going to be giving away like 20 of them on my channel in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm just squeezing the excess water out again. Like I said, you can plop, you can squeeze it out, you can use a t-shirt, I squeeze now, and I find it gives me the best results. This is my hair post-shower. It's wet, but it's not dripping wet. 
To be perfectly honest, if I wasn't shooting a video today, I would let it air dry for a little while before I started to diffuse it. Here is my hair dryer. It was gifted to me and I do like it, so I'll leave the information in the description box below. And I always put it on a warm setting now. So I put it on warm, not hot, never hot. And I'm not going to show you guys the whole diffusing process, but I will tell you probably three things that I learned um, from Mains by Mel and a couple of other people on YouTube that I always use now that really help. So number one is I hover the hair dryer around my roots and dry my roots first. The second thing that I want to mention is that I no longer put my hair into the diffuser. I just hover it around my hair. Again, roots first and my ends last. And then the other thing that I do for the shape of my hair is I make sure I move my hair from side to side as I'm drying it instead of tipping my head completely upside down like I used to do. And I find that that gives me a much better shape. So right now my hair is about 90% dry. I'm going to finish drying it and then I will show you guys my final result. I suppose the intro was a bit of a spoiler because this is what my final results are. Um, so this is the front and I'll do a little turn so you can see the back. I am going to wrap this video up quickly, but one thing that is worth mentioning is that you may have noticed that this hair routine is a little bit different than the hair routine that I used three years ago. And one thing that I can't stress enough is that as my hair changed, so did my hair needs. So right now my hair is very healthy and it knows how to find its own curl pattern. So it curls a lot easier and again, it's much healthier. When I started my channel three years ago, my hair was very, very damaged um, and needed a lot more manipulation to curl. And so if you have very damaged hair and you are just starting the curly girl method, I do advise you to try my old hair routine. Back then, I couldn't even refresh my hair. My hair was so damaged that the only way that I could get a good curly result would be to get in the shower and wet my hair down completely, either by washing or co-washing my hair and style my soaking wet hair in the shower with a lot of conditioner and gel. And now that my hair is healthier, I find I can modify my routine um, to suit my new hair needs and I don't have to use as much product. Using less product is better for the environment and better for your bank account and so I'll take it. Um, so again, these are my final results. Very happy with them. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can give it a big old thumbs down. Leave any questions or comments that you have in the comments section below. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Thank you.